Hello and welcome to this hardware setup guide. My name is Jack, I'm an implementation specialist for K-Series and in this video I'll show you how to set up and add the Star TSP100 LAN printer to Lightspeed K-Series. Firstly, we'll look at how to connect power to the printer, then connect the ethernet cable to the printer for a network connection, how to add the paper roll, how we add the printer to the back office, and finally, how we can test the installation has been successful via the POS app. To connect the printer to power, firstly make sure the bottom panel has been removed and plug the power cable into the connection shown on screen. To connect the printer to a network, plug the ethernet cable into your LAN port. It will click when inserted properly and ensure the other end is correctly plugged into your router. To add your paper roll, lift the top panel open with the lever on top and place the paper into the printer with the leading edge feeding from the bottom of the roll. We'll now print a configuration docket. On the side of the printer, you will see a power button and on the front, a feed button. Press and hold these buttons together until the printer prints a configuration docket. On the configuration docket, please locate the IP address and make a note of this. We can now add the printer to your back office. Once logged into the back office, go to configuration, printing, and then printers. And then click on add printer. You can first give your printer a name, and then from within the list of drivers, select the star TSP100 LAN driver. Once selected, in the IP address, please enter the address that was printed on the configuration docket. Once you are happy that all of the information has been entered, please click on save. We then need to link the printer to a printing profile. These control the amount of copies of the receipt or docket that's printed. Staying within the printing section, please click on printer profile. You'll see some options are already listed in the back office, but you can easily add a new one by clicking on add profile. Here you can give the profile a name, choose the amount of copies that needs to be printed, and then tick the relevant printer that needs adding to this profile. Click save once you are happy. The next task in the back office is to enable the production centers. These can be thought of as the printing destination for all the dockets. The common examples of these are bar or kitchen. To access these, stay within printing and then select production centers. Again, you'll see a couple of options already listed, but you can create a new one by simply clicking add production center. Here, you can enter the name of the production center and then select the relevant printer profile from the drop-down list. I would advise keeping the supported order types to all orders. And to begin with, I would recommend keeping the options the same as you see on screen. And if you need to change what is seen or how the dockets are printed, you can work with myself or a colleague to change these settings. Click save once you've added the relevant information. Your final task in the back office is to ensure that the correct production center has been added to the correct accounting group. As you may remember from the first webinar, the accounting groups control where items are printed. To enable this, go to menu management and then accounting groups, then click on your chosen accounting group and simply click the correct production center you need to assign to it. Click save once completed. We can now test that the printer has been successfully installed by testing it via the POS app. To do this, please log in to the K-Series app and head to the main register screen. Firstly, in the bottom right hand corner, please refresh the app to ensure that it is up to date with the back office. Once refreshed, head back to those three dots and click on the printer icon. When in the printing center, you'll see printers and print jobs at the top. Click on printers and then you'll see the printers you have added in the back office. If you tap on the relevant printer, it will send a test docket to the relevant printer. If this test docket prints, you have successfully added your printer to K-Series. Should you need some help with your printer, the best way to contact our support team is via the chat in your back office, 
Alternatively, you can give them a call or email them with the information that you see on screen. I hope this video was able to help you with your printer. If you need anything at all, please do not hesitate to contact and I hope you have a great day.